Hi guys, it's Aston. Welcome back to my channel. Um, oh, I'm so nervous about being back. Um, this is the look I came up with. Um, not been up to very much exciting things, like in terms of myself, but my husband's got some exciting news, which is quite cool. Uh, yeah, so if you want to see this look, just keep watching. So, I'm going for an orange look today. Uh, surprise, surprise, to match the wig. What other reason would there be? Um, yeah, so I've been away quite a long time. Quite a few things are changing in my life. My husband has just opened his own business. He's been in talks about it for like a few years. But he's finally done it. And it's called Oak Security Limited. It's a security business. He has been part of the business for like 10 years or something like that himself. So I couldn't think of anybody better than himself to actually open a business. It's been a lifelong dream of his. Um, which means a few changes for me in the professional life, but we're willing to <coughs> make sacrifices and make it work. So, lockdown is over. I have been out and out and out and I have been loving every second of it. I have really taken a biscuit. I have taken my babysitters for a ride. Um, but yeah, it's been so much fun. I've been able to get the kids out. We've went to a trampoline park. We went on holiday. It's just, it's been so exciting. Like, it's just so exciting. Life is becoming sort of normal-ish. And I have got Newcastle in August. So I'm going in with the painter's palette. And I'm going in with Biscuit. And just... Use my large fluffy blending brush to blend, obviously. <laughs> what else are you going to do with a blending brush? So I'm just bringing that colour right up to my brow bone, like so. And I'm just going to keep applying that until I get the shade the way I want it. So yeah, a few sacrifices in my own professional life. Um, I've been able to work less and less. But it'll be worth it if his business takes off and he's already got two venues secured, which is really, really cool. What else has been going on with me? Um, not a fat load. Uh, I've just generally been enjoying my life having some normality, spending time with my kids, more time with my kids now that I'm not working as much. And yeah, my daughter goes to high school this year. She's got her leavers beach party tomorrow, last day of primary school here in Scotland. Well, Inverclyde in particular, I don't know about other areas in Scotland, but yeah, it's Inverclyde's last day of school tomorrow. Kids are all sad. Oh, and the Weaver's Assembly had me crying. Oh. Like, has anybody else got kids going into high school? Got kids going in, uh, that are in high school? Like, how emotional is it? My husband's like, meh. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'll celebrate when she's left school and became a woman. Oh, you're a miserable kid. So, I uh, Truly all that's been going on with my life. Quite quite good, exciting things. I'm feeling quite positive and happy. Um, obviously my mental health is not the best at times. Which you can see in my other videos. Um, I talk about bipolar, borderline personality disorder. So I'm getting quite a few clothes over the next few months um, for going away and just for general wear. I was wondering... I was quite embarrassed doing my Shein haul, but if you would like to see another clothing haul, let me know, because I could definitely do that. I'd be embarrassed, but I could definitely do it. Look at the state of my skin. I'm a pure spot picker, and it is disgusting. Polka dots. 
No, Pocahontas, Pocahontas. So, yeah, just building that colour up. Oh, I have went into shade pumpkin, by the way. The bright, bright orange. And then, just to add some dimension to it, I'm going to get into Insta, which is a dark neutral brown. Just to really give it some dimension. So, um, in light of me being able to work less, I have taken on makeup clients at home again, but I really did. I've, I've lost all my confidence in applying makeup to other people. So I'm currently doing it free for a whole month if you want to get booked in and let me paint your face. Inverclyde area. <laughs> I work from home and I'm working around my kids. If kids bother you. This is going to bother you, so yeah. But no, you're more than welcome to get your face painted. So I'm just taking a wee bit more of the P. Louise base, and I'm going to find a flat brush. So I've just taken the P. Louise flat brush, and I'm going to cut my crease with that. Ooh, I've got a hair on me. I've got a hair on me. No. Um. Yeah. So as to requires concentration, so I'm going to go quiet. Ah. <laughs> Oh, every video I always make a pure goof for myself. I feel sorry for myself sometimes. <laughs> right. oh, you can't see me right, right there. Yep. So, just taking my time, cutting that crease. It doesn't need to be too neat because it's a really good pigment that's going over it, that sh which is quite pigmented, obviously. God, I haven't done makeup properly in so long, or on camera, that I am sweating. I have a sweaty tash. That is a look. So I'm just taking that above where my natural crease finishes or else you wouldn't be able to see it. Like so. And then I'm going to take this all the way over. I'm actually doing a look similar to this for a ghetto in July. It's not too far off it. Hers is more of an all orange whereas mine's has got brown in it. But I just think it adds a wee bit more dimension and looks a bit better than just bright orange. But how cute does it look on my wig? Um, so I'm just taking a white pigment from Toxic Attraction seen me use this before it's my trusted white and I'm going to apply that all over where I cut the crease like so I'm just patting that on The only thing I don't like working with pigments for is fallout. They are fallout galore, but with white it's fine because it's easy to clean up. So I don't mind that too much, but that's why I don't really work with coloured pigments because they just go all over your face and don't look good. I'm trying to think of anything else exciting that's going on in my life. Like, I feel like I'm such a boring person. Like, I've got a personality, a wooden spoon, so... I don't know. But yeah, I have got some products here that I would like insist you get. This being one, a painter's palette is just phenomenal. It is such good quality. And when it's on sale, 
it's such good quality for price. But in general, it's a really, really good quality palette. And I love it. So that is my crease cut and it should look something like this. I've just left a wee gap here because I'm going to be filling it in with a different colour. And the picture that the lovely lady showed me. Oh, there was a tint of gold just towards the end. Now I love these Makeup Revolution eye foils. Um, I'm just going to use it dry. It does have a mixing liquid with it, which I think is brilliant. So I'm just taking that and patting it over the edge here. If I could get some product on my brush, like so. So you can just see the wee hint of gold. I'm just going to take a pile of it. Really? Oh, too much. Ah! I'm failing! I'm failing at making a video! Oh no! Oh, that is stunning. That is a gorgeous eye foil. In fact, I'm going to take it right over. There we go. That is gorgeous. So I'm going to take my smaller fluffy blending brush and get back into the shade Insta and mix it with pumpkin and just start blending that over the eye foil just so the colours merge together a wee bit better. I don't really like big stark contrast cut creases, well not anymore, I used to love doing them but yeah, I just don't think they look good in everyday life great for a night out but not in everyday life and I'm actually going to Tesco so <laughs> looking this <coughs> oh, Rona I've not got Rona I get tested three times a week three bloody times a week no Rona okay so next up I am going to do my other eye off camera and then I'll be back. Hi, so that's the other eye done. Looks like that. It's kind of messy. Me. I'll do it there next time. <laughs> um, as you can see, I am tanned. And it's real. It's no fake. It's real. And I'm not enjoying it because it's making all my other foundations too pale. Um, so I got the new Lightweight Portable Coverage Body Veil Face and Body Foundation from Makeup Revolution. This ain't going to cover up my acne. It's very, very light coverage. I'm going to mix in a darker foundation with it. So I'm going to do that and just mix that together. Okay, I think I made it a bit too dark. Whoa. Hmm. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, yeah, that looks... That looks still too light, but do you know what? We can always bronze up. I also got the Revolution... I don't know, but it's the Face and Body Foundation brush. Pretty sure it's for your body, but it does the job on the face. I love it. As you can see, that is covering up absolutely nothing about my acne, and that's with another foundation mixed in because it is so sheer coverage. I wear this on my good skin days, and I love it. Just not today, but it's hot out there. 
I really don't want full coverage on a hot day. So I'm just going to breathe, showing my natural skin. My forehead is actually looking okay. Just try to apply extra and build up because it does say buildable, but to be honest, I really don't find it buildable coverage. Wasn't me buildable coverage. <laughs> mm. So yeah, I'll just use it until my product's used up. Saying that, look, it has a, it has actually covered the acne up now. Hmm. Just dab it on, see if that makes any difference. And then just whatever's left on the forehead, because I don't really like putting a lot of product on my forehead, I don't need it. So I don't use it. And as you can see, it's a lovely glowy foundation, which I love. I'm just little living for glowy, dewy, juicy foundations these days. And that's what this is, so yeah. Very nice. I like. High five. And then for concealer, I'm going to get with the Elf Camo. God, that was crusty. <laughs> and just a couple of wee dots. Nothing too major. Like, literally, I'm not even putting much on because... As I say, I want to keep my skin as light and natural as possible. Even though I'm going for such a heavy eye look sometimes, it's nice to just balance it out with really nice looking skin. Rather than the full coverage that we all go for these days. But we'll say that I think people are starting to lean more towards a natural look when it comes to the base. Which I'm all for. Like... Embrace your skin, even if it's ugly like mine. We all have flaws, so I don't see a point in trying to hide them. But, and being uncomfortable wearing a shit ton of makeup. Unless you're not uncomfortable at all, then ignore that. I just don't like you feeling a hunters of makeup on me recently. So I've tried to kind of steer away from it. I got a load of new foundation sticks from Makeup Revolution. And I don't know where they are, so I'll be two minutes. Okay, so instead of like shade 13, I've opted for 11, which is a lot lighter than what I used to do. So, look at my wee hand. <laughs> I might go a wee bit darker on my nose, just a wee bit. So I'm just warming this up because as you can see my face is quite light compared to my neck. So yeah. Lighten it up and try to darken it up. I don't know. Warm it up. What did I say? Oh honestly. And this also provides a wee touch more coverage, but I've not used a lot so it wouldn't provide very much. But nevertheless it provides a little. Just blending that in, bring it up on my chin where I would naturally have bronzed areas. Like so. I have found a new favourite bronzer. I don't normally fall in love with bronzers, like they're always too warm, too cool, too pigmented, not pigmented enough. But I found the one. I can have my nose, is that right? Uh, actually, I'm not going to bother adjusting that. Just going to go grab my foundation brush. Just to get a little more seamless blend. Because I really want it to blend in, like. Um, the whole way down rather than having 
Um, so the oh wait 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 this product as well. The powder foundations from Makeup Revolution. I get shade zero point two. Oh my goodness, it's so good for highlighting. Like, look at that. And it mattifies the area. But I've got a new face powder as well that I have absolutely fallen in love with. But yeah, this powder foundation I find great for contouring. Might get one in a shade darker, I think. But they are quite pigmented, so I'm not too sure about that. Oh, I don't know. There we go. How nice does that look? Close up. Um, yeah, so my bronzer, if you bear with me, is this glow one from Makeup Revolution, and I got shade Fair. It is such a good colour for me. Um, I love it. I've stopped doing like the whole proper contour thing. I've started just warming my face up and leaving it at that rather than big brown streaks. I'm just I'm just so over it. And if you're not, it's fine. Like other people it looks brilliant on, but me, no. I look like a sneer jobby on my face no matter what I do, whether I do under foundation, over foundation, go with a light hand. I just find my complexion so fair that when I stick in brownish on it, it just, you know, it just doesn't look good. So I just kind of leave the contour alone now. And a wee bit down my schnozzle. Perfect shade for me. So, next up, do you know what? I'll go straight to setting spray and highlighter actually. Oh no, I've got blush in. I've got a new blush palette that I'm in love with as well. This little one for Makeup Revolution, um, it's just a free shade pan palette. I'm not sure what it's called. And it looks like this. It's got little cute flamingos on it. And I'm going to go in with the middle shade and buff that in to the mid cheek and up. Got a new blusher placement. I used to just go ham and put it all over my face. <laughs> but watching Jamie Genevieve, like, blusher placement really helps you sculpt. And a wee bit on my nose, just a wee touch. I like it. And I couldn't be without my blusher on my nose. Look how bronzed my skin looks. I am living for it. So I get a new setting spray, a super fix misting spray from Makeup Revolution. It is great. Oh. Just gonna let myself dry. So everybody's talking about it. The new Sof highlighting palette. I got shade Sugar Frosting. Not sure if it's the lightest or the mid one, but yeah, I'm going in with the lightest shade. It is gorgeous. Like, well done, Soph. I know you're not going to be watching my videos. <laughs> but if I ever got to her, like, well done, because that is just so stunning. Look at that. That is amazing for... What, eight pound or something like that? Eight pound for that kind of glow. That is phenomenal. And it doesn't, it does show a wee bit of texture, like a wee bit of texture on my skin, but nothing major, like I've had worse. So, yeah, just applying that in all my usual areas. Don't know how I'm going to do my brows today. I'm quite liking a natural look. So, hmm, we'll see. We'll see. So next, I'm going to do my under eyes. And for that, I'm just taking a little bullet brush. 
I'm taking my painter's palette again, going into shade pumpkin. I love an orange and grey, I really do. There's just something so flattering about it on blue eyes, which obviously I have, so yeah, I love it. My husband's got a bike due today. <laughs> I'm riding a bike, it's just hilarious to me because we're like two of the most unfit people in the whole of the universe. Like. <laughs> So, yeah, I've been making jokes. <laughs> and then I'm going to take Smokey, which is the black in the palette. And just blend that in. I don't know, like, people give me the fear when they take the black first. Like, I just, no, it scares me. <laughs> Like, stop that. I wish I could blend black out with colours, but it's just not something I can do. So, yeah, it's not for me, I'm afraid. I'll keep doing my makeup the way I do it. Sorry, I can't talk when I'm doing my under eyes because they're always water. Like, look. <laughs> I might add a wee bit of plaque into the inner corner actually, just to bring that together. Like so. Mm hmm that's looking better. I've always, like, even if I'm going for a natural look, I somehow always manage to darken it up and go it up it's like my wee inner emo just is like no we, we can't we can't play in this like no my inner doll doll is squealing at me that's what happens when you used to be one back in the days eh? never it never leaves you never so yeah right i've kind of fucked it up but can just bring the black up higher on this eye as well to match the other. Yeah, easily done. Um, yeah. So, the face powder I was talking about, I've not actually used it in this video because my skin's already quite glowy. Is the I Heart Revolution Radiance Powder? This stuff is phenomenal. Like. It gives you the best glow. It's translucent. It's not glittery. It's just amazing. So I'd highly, highly recommend that if you like glowy skin. Um, I'm just going in with my Peaches and Cream lip liner. Today. So much controversy, like... In the makeup world at the minute, ain't her? Over a lot of people. I did not think would be involved in any scandal, but here you go. I know some people hate my lips. I know it. But I don't care. So. I am actually sweating so much that my lip liner is going everywhere. It's like 10 million degrees in Scotland. It's not really. It's like 15, 16, but that's far too hot for me. Cannot. Shall not. Deal with it. I did have a new lipstick, but I don't know where I put it. So... Yeah. 
plate. It's another Makeup Revolution matte one in shade Latte. If I can open the bloody thing. Meh. Oh well, we'll rip it open. That'll do. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that shade. Mm. Chocolatey goodness. Mm, that's pretty. There we go, that's nice. So, I finish off the eyes, obviously I need to add lashes. Mm, am I going to do an eyeliner? Probably not, because I'm lazy. Yeah, I'm lazy. Um, I got the new Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I'm just going to remove my brow soap. Um, I definitely think I'm going to stick with a natural brow for today. Might fill it in a little bit, but not much. Because, I mean, that looks fine. Like I've been came so accustomed to seeing my brows filled in that when I see them natural, I'm like, mm. But is everybody else the same? Like you just don't feel like you when you're not caked head to toe in makeup. Like it's so bad for our self esteem. But I've been learning really, really to love myself at least recently. Recently? <laughs> recently. Been going to work without makeup. Even having a few nights out with just, as I said, natural makeup, natural skin, things like that, like, and I feel my confidence in myself is just going up and up and up and up. But I definitely lost it for a while and couldn't stand the sight of my way foot makeup. So, yeah, it's like really topsy turny, like, when it comes to how I feel about myself. I might put a wee bit of brow pomade on, just a couple of wee hair strokes, but yeah. That's, that's pretty good. That's mascara. Mmm. So good. Like, so, so, so good. I was like, no buying any hype. Never got it. Until about a week ago, everybody's had it before me. But I wish I'd bought it right away. Because it is makes my stumpy lashes look like Danny long leg legs Danny long leg legs yeah look at, look at that absolutely you need this in your makeup collection as you can see I've opted for no eyeliner today can't be bothered with it like do you know what I like about my videos and I'm not out my own horn. I don't really cut much of it. I just do my makeup. Um, and this is how long it takes me. So you're actually in real time with me. Like, experiencing how I do my makeup. How long it takes me. Like I can get ready for a night out. Within 40 minutes. Sometimes I take longer. It just depends on how really perfected I want my makeup. Like today. I'm only going to Tesco so... I'm not bothered. But yeah, for a full face, I think I do not bad in terms of time. We'll do my bottom lashes later. Going again with... I forgot to cream today. Oh. A wee eyeliner. God, my eyes are streaming. Um, should I, should I fill my brows in a bit? I don't know. Well, I'm going to put some fake lashes on anyway. And if I come back and my brows are done, they're done. If they're not, they're not. So guys, I have just put on my lashes. They are from Pound Lashes. 
they cost literally like a pound they are amazing amazing quality i've got I've got a few packs of them i've got pl15 sugar they are gorgeous pl15 again pl14 which is what i've got on and another pack of sugar so yeah really pretty but yeah this is the finished look i just genuinely fill in my brows today and um, that's it all done and dusted i hope you enjoyed the video um i don't know how i feel about being back just yet i don't know whether i'll continue to come back um leave a comment if you want to see any more videos from me if not then who knows what the future holds just let me know all right it's only nice and let me know if you want to see me god <laughs> anyways toodaloo